Hey dolls, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm finally coming to you with another hair journey video. And I thought this was fitting since I'm rocking the old braid out right now. I'm going back to my roots. I'm done with protective styles right now. As y'all know, I did my sew-in and then I had box braids. So now old braid out until I go back to my sew-in. But today I'm going to give you a list of don'ts for a hair journey if you're still on your hair journey like I am. Hair journeys don't end, so we're just, you know, we're still on it, but a lot of us need a little kicking into gear and some reminders, so this is exactly what this video is about. So, if you want to hear my list of don'ts, stay tuned. Okay, dolls, number one of my list of don'ts is don't constantly do lynch checks. And the reason for that is because you may get discouraged if you don't see your hair growing at the rate you think it should be growing in. A lot of us look at other videos and think, well, this girl's hair is growing faster, so my hair should grow at the same length of speed that theirs does, and it just doesn't work like that. A lot depends on water intake, the way you eat, the way your hair naturally grows, what speed it's growing at. So, I mean, you can't judge your length off of somebody else's length. So, don't constantly do length checks because you might get like sad for some reason because your hair is not growing at the length that it you should. You also don't want to constantly do length checks because you want to get that sense of satisfaction when your hair does grow that inch or two inches in a certain amount of time so I don't know for me like I get extra happy once I see that okay my hair was right here two months ago and now I'm right here so I mean it's just I don't know a sense of satisfaction and a sense of happiness once you see after a certain amount of time that your hair has grown this much length so don't do it guys don't get discouraged and that may kick you off your hair journey if you don't see what you want to see so don't constantly do link checks y'all number two is don't consistently cut your hair i know a lot of people say cut your hair every six weeks to see growth um no if you're cutting your hair every six weeks, you're cutting off what you grew in those six weeks. So you really won't see retention or growth from that because you're constantly cutting it off. And when you're constantly cutting it off, you're going to get discouraged because your hair is not going to retain length, if that makes any sense. I mean, because, okay, let me explain it like this. If your hair is this length right here, um, six weeks, at six weeks from starting your hair journey, Okay, and in another six weeks, if your hair grows to right here, um, you know, this is just a standard amount of growth. Um, and you go to your hairdresser all excited or whatnot, your hair has grown to right here, and she just cuts it off back to right here. You're going to get sad because all that time moisturizing, sealing, washing and co-washing and, you know, everything to your hair, she just cut it off. So, I mean, don't continuously and consistently cut off your hair. Wait um, every probably three to four months maybe or some people you know like me I wait every six to eight months or I wait every six months to do um, a little a little chop not too much if I see split ends I will dust them off but if not I mean what's the point of cutting it off I want to retain as much length as I can on my hair journey and if I'm cutting it off there's no point in even doing a hair journey Okay guys, number three is don't always change your products. Um, okay, so at the beginning of your hair journey, you want to get as many products as you can. Well, I know that was what I did, but um, I don't know. Once you don't see the growth that you want to see, again, you always change your products. And I would say don't change them as often because you don't know what works for your hair. You want to use the products for a few weeks first to a few months just to see what you like and dislike and what your hair, listen to your hair, what your hair likes and dislikes. So if you're using a certain shampoo and for the first couple of washes you notice that your hair is getting really, really dry after shampoo. 
you want to use that at least two or three more times just just to make sure it's the shampoo and not like the conditioner or the moisturizer that you're using afterwards so once you use it for a few weeks you can kind of judge what in um well what's in your I guess list of products that's not working for your hair just so you know not to use that product in the future and also let me tell you this when a product does not work for your hair at first down on in the hair journey line that product you may get back to it and that product may work excellent for your hair so you may want to keep that in your stash but just use it for a few weeks first guys just to see exactly what is going on with that so okay guys number four is <laughs> don't become a product junkie i know i was a product junkie at first and like a lot of people that's on youtube was a product junkie at first but um i mean sometimes it's not about what you're putting in your hair is the method that you do it so I mean you could have a moisturizer and you could be um, moisturizing your hair every three nights and not every night because you know you want to make sure your ends are well moisturized so that you can retain that length so don't become a product junkie just use or write down your method that you want to do first if that makes any sense I think it does I think it does don't it's not worth becoming a product junkie just use your products to the best of your ability and if they don't work for you again use them for a couple of more times and then ditch them or keep them okay halfway through guys number five is don't use too many chemicals in your hair and um my me myself I'm relaxed so in order for me not to use that many chemicals in my hair I usually stretch my relaxers 16 to 20 weeks usually is what I do um, I may go 14 weeks sometimes but I usually stretch mine so that my hair doesn't have too many chemicals in it because I want it to grow and having too many chemicals is just not good for your hair anyway so yeah I stretch my relaxers to keep the growth coming and um don't use too many Brazilian blowouts. We don't have Brazilians here as far as I know, so I haven't gotten one. I know like they are bomb coming from YouTube, but don't get too many of them because it's just not worth hurting your hair for it. Um, I know a lot of other people get keratin treatments that steal chemicals. It's protein, so watch that anyway. But um, yeah, don't get too many of those. And summertime, everybody wants to have a different color hair. Purple is in right now. Hey, girl. Uh, I seen pink. Oh, the blue, um, the greenish blue type thing is in right now. So don't use too much dye in your hair. And if you're using dye, make sure you get some bomb weave to put it on. Don't hurt your hair. Braid that little thing underneath and then put your weave on in the color that you desire. But don't use too many chemicals in your hair because it's not really worth hurting your hair to get that summertime look. Six is don't judge your hair growth on other people's hair growth. And I kind of hit on this in the beginning. Um, at the beginning of my hair journey, I was looking at You Love Megs and I was like, girl, that hair is bomb. I know my hair is going to be that length in a year. Well no i mean you can see right now my hair is still not hair length and i started my um hair journey in january 2011 of course i've had plenty 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 of setbacks so you can't judge your hair off of my growth because i've had plenty of setbacks and she obviously has too but her hair is still long but i've learned not to judge my hair on somebody else's hair because I don't know what they eat I don't know how much water they take I don't know what growth um pills they take I don't know what kind of oils they use how many hot oil treatments they use and I can keep going and going and going and going so don't judge your hair growth off nobody else but yourself as long as you know what you're supposed to be doing your hair is on track you're listening to your hair then your hair will prosper so 
don't get discouraged guys don't get sad or anything just you know keep chugging along your little hair journey road yourself the next one is don't use a lot of heat in your hair because you don't want to get heat damage when you get heat damage you have to cut off that hair anyway because it just if you're okay if you're natural then the heat damage just looks like a mess on your hair anyway so you're going to have to cut it off and if you're relaxed it's going to look a mess anyway because it's going to stay dry it's not going to grow properly it's going to break off and i mean the list goes on so you have to just cut it off so why use as much heat anyway and also when you use less heat your hair just i don't know it just it just thrives i will at least mine did when i went on no heat no heat what it was it I don't know, no heat journey type thing for a couple of months. <laughs> um, my hair just prospered from it. So yeah, it's not worth it. Alright, don't go too long without a deep conditioner. I personally use a deep conditioner every time I wash my hair or co-wash my hair. Just because my hair gets that added moisture that it needs to um, retain its length and to stay moisturized. So, um, yeah, don't go too long without doing it. At least, I mean, you can wait a week. If you wash your hair every week, you should be deep conditioning every week anyway. If you wash your hair twice a week, deep condition twice a week. If you wash your hair every two weeks, girl, girl, deep condition your hair for at least three hours. I mean, your hair needs it. It needs moisture and deep conditioning. It just, it just locks in and sucks in all that moisture, and it just, it just loves you. It thanks you. It really does. I swear, it thanks you for. Okay, and speaking of deep conditioner, the next one is don't let your hair get dry. Cause you know what, guys, when your hair gets dry, it just breaks off. I mean, it has no reason to stay. You're not taking care of it. You're not doing what you need to do to keep it on. So it's just like, bye, girl. Um, obviously you're not doing what you need to do so I'm gone but I mean like if you just moisturize it just moisturize it that's all you have to do moisturize and seal every night and always deep condition so don't let it get too dry because you will not retain length and it would just I don't know it kind of looks a mess too I'm like I'm gonna be honest it kind of looks a mess when it's dry too like who wants dry hair like you just know that person is not taking care of their hair and I mean we all like to get compliments on how good our hair is looking I mean don't judge mine right now because this is old but I don't know I kind of love it it kind of reminds me of my shirt let me show you my shirt guys I love my hair so it just, I don't know, just don't let it get dry. You'll love a compliment, I swear you will. Okay, dolls, last but not least is, ooh, let me fix that, girl. Okay, don't keep messing in your hair. And that is why we tell you all to do protective styles, weaves, braids, you know anything to put your hair up and keep it up for a while and that's when you'll see more length is when you stop messing in your hair i mean then your mama used to tell you when you was in elementary school not to let people mess in your hair on the playground i mean i know gina did my mama did so don't let people mess in your hair and most of all don't mess in your own hair because when you keep like doing this and stuff and you know and my hair ain't been combed in two days but that's what a braid out is for keep it moisturized and keep your hands out of it so i mean don't mess in it you won't see length like i've been saying the whole time you won't see length your hair is gonna break off and you're going to end up having to cut it if you keep messing in it. Especially, especially applying heat. I mean, wine curlers are in right now, girl. And don't, I mean, just don't, don't do it. Put it on your weave. Don't put it on your rear hair. Just braid that thing up and slap on your weave. Quick weave. Quick wig or something. And, um, you know, don't mess in it. It ain't worth it. So, so, hope you like this video. Any questions, you know where to put it. Any comments, you know where to put it, girl. And um, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, dog.